Welcome back everyone to our series on fishing tips brought to you by Rocky Point Boat Dock. Today we're going to go ahead and tie a bait holder type hook on the end of a leader. This hook is barbed and it's designed to basically hold a an earthworm on the end of your fishing leader. So we're going to get started by taking this line and we're going to go ahead and thread it through the hoop of the hook but before we get started we want to go ahead and look at the hook and make sure and because it comes from the factory doesn't mean that all of these hooks are perfect a lot of times that the eyelet around this hook will have a space at the end of the eyelet there and when it does uh, it can create a situation for you that could be traumatic if you lost a fish so that were to happen you want to take your needle nose pliers and just take it and cinch it and make sure that that eyelet is cinched down and there is no gap there. This hook does not have a gap and it is it's basically manufactured from the factory and it looks great. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and take the end of the fishing line and we're going to run it through the eyelet of the hook like so. I'm going to grab the end of the fishing line, give ourselves a couple inches or so and we're going to fold it back like that. We're going to do the same thing that we did on our other video with the treble hook. We're going to go ahead and, and spin this at least seven times. I don't really count. Like I said, I go ahead for a look. Whoops, I let go of it. I need to go ahead and keep going here. I go ahead for a look of braided line that's on my leader. And it's starting to form right now. And when I get to that point, that seems like enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and grab the end of this and I'm going to feed it through. I'm going to feed it through the loop that's in the filament. I am not going to feed it through the eyelet of the hook. So here I go. If my fishing line will cooperate, and it does. Now, same idea as before, before I cinch this down, I want to go ahead and moisten the knot so that it'll cinch up real nice and tight. A little bit of spit on the end of my finger. I'm going to rub that into the knot area there. I'm going to grab the shank of the hook and pull it tight. You see how it slides all the way down nice and tight to the uh, eyelet of the hook. I'm going to take my fingernail and kind of run it out to the end as far as I can while I'm tightening it down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess tail there. And leave about a sixteenth of an inch or so at the end. I'm going to go ahead and check it again for tightness. And it's nice and tight like a fist at the end here. It doesn't have any loops and it's uh, pretty much looks like it's store bought. So this is a leader now for an earthworm. Next, uh, stay tuned where we'll show you how to uh, thread an earthworm on the end of this particular type of hook. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and comment or rate. Thank you very much.